Hey there, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for joining me today here on the Zinnia's YouTube channel for an ongoing collaboration where I'm creating digital spreads using the Zinnia app here. And then over on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash men who bullet, you can check out a traditional version of the spread inside of a bullet journal, paper, pen, and ink. So what we're going to do in today's video is create a weekly spread using some cool looking containers. I want to find something where we're going to go down the center and we can put in the days of the week in space for a weekend. I also want to create a calendar overview for the month. And then over on the left hand side, we're going to create a space for some extra notes or tasks if they don't fit inside of the center. And then what I want to do is find some cool outline illustrations to add in here and a small pop of color. So now that I have that sketched out, I'll go ahead and erase all of these. Let's go ahead and find what we need to get started. So the first thing I wanna find are the text boxes for the center of the page. Inside of Zinnia, you can look underneath containers and we've got this really cool looking spiral bound notebook that we can use. This already has a text box built into it. So if you want to type inside of these, you can, or you can write inside of here with the drawing tool if you want. Now that I have this sized in here, the next thing I'll do is duplicate this down the left hand side, creating enough space in between each one of these. And then what I'll do is just duplicate this over on the right hand side, nice and easy, line these up. The next thing I want to do is find a container over on the right hand side. This is where we're going to put our task and our extra notes. So right inside this same collection, we have this elongated open envelope and we'll put this over here on the right hand side and we'll give that a title in just a bit. The next thing that I want to find is going to be a calendar. So inside of planner icons and underneath calendars, there's a plethora of calendar types. I'm going to use these 2020 one minis we'll go ahead and put in our february calendar here and make it just a bit bigger to fill up that space over on the left hand side our next step is going to be putting in the headers for each day of the week because each of these boxes is already a text box i can just tap right inside of them and type in whatever i need so for the header i'm going to type in monday and we'll resize this so it fits better inside the box and let's try to find a font that looks good as well. We'll change it up from the sans serif that we have over on the right hand side. So let's go in with this one here. I like it a little bit of a handwriting cursive type feel to it. And we'll just fill in the rest of the days of the week, Monday through Friday, and then a space for the weekend. And the right hand box also has a text box built into it. So we'll go ahead and type in notes and then we'll change the alignment from left to center and make this just a bit bigger. So it stands out more on the page, changing the size to 70 and creating a little bit more of that line spacing here. Now that we have all of our main containers here, our calendar and space for notes, I want to find some illustrations to go inside of here. So we're going to go back into our sticker collection and look for a minimalist drawing. So underneath culture, there's Bohemian here. I love the way these look just black lines with some illustrations. And let's find two that work. Let's go for this small bouquet over on the right hand side. That'll fit that space on the right. And then I love this one with these plants and the snake. This fits perfectly over here. In the traditional version of this collaboration, I did contour drawings with faces, but I like the way these look. Now that we have everything in here, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to lock everything here on the page. And that way, as I'm interacting or moving things around, I don't have to worry about any of these boxes moving as I go through. One of my favorite things to do with the line drawings inside of Zinnia is kind of treat them like a coloring book almost. What I'm going to do is draw over top of the snake here with this paint pen. And once it's all filled in, I'll just move the paint layer back one so that it looks like I was drawing behind the snake instead of over top of it. We'll do the same exact thing over on the right hand side as well. And we'll just be filling in these flowers and some of these stars. And then I'll go ahead and select each one of these paint layers and just move it back one. I absolutely love the pop of color here on this page now. The small little accents like that makes such a big difference as you're creating these. And that's what I love about Zinnia is you can play around and explore all that you want. As I mentioned, there is a traditional version of this page, just a little bit different over on my personal YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash men who bullet. And this is an ongoing collaboration. So I'll have many more videos just like this coming up for you where we're creating great weekly spreads and other bullet journal designs, both traditionally in a notebook with pen and ink, and then also here in Zinnia with all of the amazing content that's available to use. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you very soon. See ya.